kingdom giving principles. Okay. The number one reason I am taking my Saturday morning to dive into more of the mindset, faith, okay, how you personally operate, behave, your attitude around your personal finances, right? This is a finance channel. So I'm going to incorporate the pregame work, the pre-steps, the, the, the precepts in your brain, the thought before the thought enters your brain and then you take action on it. Those are the things that I want to tackle because I often see people on my channel that comment, that reach out to me. You're struggling, you're in debt, you want to start a business, cash flow is low. And you can be given all the logical strategy, you can be given the best strategy on planet Earth to apply into your business or finances and still not get results. Now, if I just told you that the best, if I gave you the best strategy, without a doubt, on planet Earth, here's the strategy to create financial freedom, and you still don't get results, the question you have to ask yourself is, is it the strategy? Or is there something that I'm not doing or applying to the strategy to make it effective, okay? And I believe according to statistics, average American lives paycheck to paycheck, right? Over 60% of Americans, 70% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. More than 50% of Americans don't have more than $1,000 in their savings account, emergency funds. Um, I think under 50%, if there was an emergency, emergency to occur that was more than four or $500, you would have to go into debt just to cover that emergency. So clearly there is a disconnect when it comes to the strategies that we're given here on planet Earth to achieve results and the people that apply the strategy or attempt or try to get results. There is a disconnect. So we have to attack what that this connection is because as, as soon as we sync it up, it'll start to work. It'll come together, right? So that's what I want to tackle. And most of my channel delivers strategy, 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 all day long, logical numbers, straightforward. And every now and then I like to bring in a little mindset because it's really where your thinking is, is how effective the strategies are really going to be. It's not the strategy that's the issue. It's really you. It's really you. You taking responsibility for your strengths, weaknesses, the things you don't know, and the things you don't know that you don't know, okay? And coming in alignment, getting out of your own way, getting out of your own head to make an impact in this world. So let's dive into the lesson. I highly recommend focusing, taking notes, Okay, our attention is now on the board. All right. So what I would like to introduce to you, because I know I have a broad audience. I've got Christians, Catholics, Jewish people, Mormons, Hindus. Um, I've got some Muslim people, people from the UK, people from Canada. I have believers, non-believers, atheists, people in between, I don't knows, got people all over the place. So I want to be very transparent and not assume that you know these things. If you do, great. If you kind of know it, cool. If you don't know it at all, take it in, absorb it. If it lands, great. If it doesn't, that's okay, right? I am simply here to show you how I personally operate, which gets me a phenomenal amount of results in a short period of time to live a life worth living. And I believe that right there can resonate with any human being, living a life worth living, okay? And having a system that can 
produce that every single time, 100% of the time, right? And get fantastic results. Even when it seems like I'm not getting results in your life or, or in my own life, that you're applying the same fundamentals, the same principles, right? And with time, money, and effort, no matter what, I become recession-proof, poverty-proof, right? And I step into freedom, right? Living a life worth living. So, when it comes to giving, kingdom giving principles, let's go over what this word kingdom means, okay? And we're going to give some kingdom facts. So, the first and foremost some kingdom facts. These are not opinions. These are facts. You can look this up with evidence and get to a conclusion. So a kingdom is a country. It is a legal entity with legal protocols and procedure. A kingdom is a country. It's a legal entity which has legal protocols, legal procedures. A kingdom has a government, a governing power and rule over citizens that live and operate and conduct business and trade in the country, okay? A kingdom is not a religion. What is a religion? A, re a religion is a set of beliefs of a, say, a higher power or a structured way of living. It has to do with uh, there are certain rules, traditions, ways of beings, right? Religion is man searching for something that is of a higher power than themselves. That's all religion really is, is a man, right, mankind searching for something higher than themselves, a higher power. Could be referred to as God or gods, okay? There are many religions, thousands of them throughout the world. Some, that, some religions believe in one god, some religions believe in multiple gods, some religions believe in no God, but a higher power or a source or a energy, right, that feeds them to do, say, good things on planet Earth and produce uh, uh, good works and help people. So a kingdom is not a religion, okay? A kingdom is a country. It's a legal entity with legal protocols, legal procedures. It's a government has rulership and dominance over its citizens. The citizens follow what the kingdom, a kingdom consists of a king, right? Which is a singular rulership over a body of people, over a land, right? It is complete ownership and dominance over a specific, you know, area, group of people, and that such, okay? Right? Now, some key info that I want to share with you is the kingdom that I represent. There are many kingdoms in this world, right? Another word for kingdom is a government. Say, for example, the U.S. government, the Canadian government, the Australian government, South American government, the U.K. has a government. Every country, right? How many countries are there? I think there's over probably 200 or more countries here on planet Earth. Every single country has a government, right, which has cabinets, politicians, right? People that declare law, right? A kingdom has laws and it 
exercises those laws, those ways of being, those beliefs on its citizens. Those citizens operate according to the kingdom or the government's laws to live a life worth living. Okay? Some governments are ineffective. Some governments are effective. Some governments are in between. Some governments are growing. Some governments are well established. Some governments have risen to power and fall, right? Some governments, some kingdoms, we look at history, take for example the Roman Empire, right? They ris risen to power and then were, you know, completely eradicated for the most part, completely fell apart. So there's some good things, bad things, right? There's good, bad, and ugly in every kingdom, so to speak, right? So what I want to share with you is the kingdom that I operate from. So I am a citizen in a specific kingdom. I actually have dual citizenship. So I know I have viewers from different countries. So I am a citizen of the United States of America. So I have citizenship in that country. The United States of America and being an American citizen I have certain rights certain duties certain responsibilities as an American citizen to conduct myself appropriately here on planet earth in my country to represent America to all other countries to attract a life worth living where other people may not be living a life worth living. They can become an American citizen here and live a wonderful life. Well, the only way they're gonna know that being an American is awesome is if Americans, citizens of the homeland, represent and behave adequately and they live an awesome life, okay? So that's one citizenship that I have. The second citizenship that I have is with a kingdom called the kingdom of heaven. Okay? The kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is a country. It is a location. It is a invisible location. It is an unseen, invisible location. You and I cannot see it with these two eyeballs, right? So that unseen, invisible kingdom of heaven location produced the seen, right? So the unseen produced the seen that you and I get to operate in here today, right? And so with that being said, I represent a physical location here on planet Earth, the United States of America, but I also represent the unforeseen kingdom, the invisible kingdom of heaven in the physical planet Earth, here on Earth. I am a representor, I am an ambassador for this kingdom of heaven. And my goal here today is to show you how I operate in the physical, to get physical results, tangible things that improve not only my lifestyle, but the people around me and the people I serve and the energy that I give off, okay? So that is who I represent, the kingdom of heaven, which is a country, legal entity, has legal protocol, legal procedures, has legal documentation, right? It's a government, not a religion. Some key info to be aware of is who runs that kingdom, who runs that government. So I am not the king of that specific kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. I'm not the king. I am a citizen, right? I have legal rights to that country to get things, to receive things, right? So some key info is the person that rules that kingdom goes by the name of God, G-O-D. 
referred to as he in many different places around the world. But this God doesn't necessarily have gender. It's not a he or a she. It is, he is uh, a role referred to as father, okay? Referred to as father, which is a role, not necessarily gender based, but it's a role. And the role that this God plays is father and judge, okay? So we have a ruler in this kingdom of heaven, goes by the name of God, has many names actually, right? Has many names. In many different cultures, some might call him Abba, Pater, or Pater, if I'm saying that right, Allah, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rafi, right? Many different names, which simply means being. Name literally just simply means being or reputation. And God has a role, a judge, okay? Now, this particular God is pretty interesting, has three parts, right? This particular God has three parts. So it is a singular God, but with three functions, right? Three major functions and three distinct names that go with those functions, with those roles, right? And since this being is singular, he is 100% God, right? 100% another name, Jesus, or sometimes referred to as the Messiah, the Christ, right? Which has a role of witnessing and accessing, approving citizens into the kingdom, okay? So this God is 100% God, judge, father, source, Abba, 100% Jesus, witness, accessor, okay? And 100%, another word, Holy Spirit, which is a lawyer. Now, you need a lawyer in every country, right? You need a witness in every country. You need a judge in every country. This is why there are protocols, procedures, to allow citizens to conduct themselves accordingly so that they're not just spitting in the wind, right? And, and thinking things up as they go. No, they have a structure, protocols, procedures, systems, guaranteed systems that work, okay? So kingdom, we went over it, what it is. Key info, who runs the kingdom? God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, also known as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Their functions are judge, witness, and lawyer, which is representing and accessing more and more citizens to become citizens in the kingdom and then to operate and receive blessings and live a life worth living. This particular kingdom has a template for the specific citizens, not everybody, but those who become citizens. There's a specific template, okay? which I'm now going to step into giving and principles. So giving and principles. There's a, there's a template, which I wrote out for you right here. So if you're taking notes, you're gonna to wanna to take notes, right? So there is a template that I use to conduct myself to gain access to this unforeseen invisible kingdom and then bring it in to this physical world that we live in so that you guys can actually see results. That's what you care about. You want results so that you can get things, do things and make an impact, right? And be a blessing to others. So this particular template is what you and I would refer to as a prayer, okay? Or praying or maybe hoping or maybe another word would be manifesting right, or thinking, but in a government, the word prayer actually means 
petition. So the, the term prayer is not a religious term. It actually comes from a kingdom which refers to petition or petitioning, which is a function that citizens of any country, of any kingdom, has the ability to use while they operate in that specific land. So when a citizen petitions, what they're actually doing is they're making a legal appeal or demand on the government to receive their rights so that they can live a life worth living, right? Make an impact, make money, help people do good things, right? And be secured in those good things, uh, have safety, security, protection, and authority as a citizen conducting themselves in that particular kingdom, okay? So with that, in order for the citizen to petition, they have to to be made known of the template or the structure, the protocol that exists so that they can get access to things, right? So a, another uh, definition for a petition is literally a, a, a citizen or an individual making an earnest plea for a specific need for something, re for something significant requested of say, God, it would be something that you cannot get on your own or accomplish without the king's final judgment and support. Okay, so that would be like another definition for that. Okay, so now with the kingdom template, in order to petition properly, you must make a statement and declare his name in this specific kingdom. So I talked about many different kingdoms, how they operate, the difference between kingdom and religion. Now we're focusing on just one kingdom for right now because this is the only kingdom that I operate from where I'm getting all these results and I'm like, you know what? I've been getting so many results, I need to share, right? And help some people out. So to be totally transparent, I'm not trying to convince you to do anything or persuade you into anything. I'm simply, simply showing you how I conduct myself and you have the ability at the end of the day to either accept, deny, or do more research before making a decision. So I want to be totally transparent the whole way through. So in this kingdom template, I'm simply making a statement. I'm declaring his name, God, Jesus, Holy Spirit. I'm presenting a case. So as a citizen, I have a case. I say, hey, I need something and I need this and I need that and I need that. So I'm presenting my specific case to the king and I'm providing details, right? So that is the structure and the statement or the, the template, I should say, is right here, right? And we're going to break this down because there's many different concepts in these few words right here. And once I'm done, I'm going to open it up to Q&A and uh, you know, invite you guys to ask some questions and see where it goes from there, all right? So let's start with our prayer, which is a petition. So let's imagine that you and I have an issue. We need money, right? All of us on planet Earth need this, money. Money is value. Money is, is, is an agreed upon thing, object, that you and I both agree that it has value and that money can get me other things that has value, okay? So you and I have a problem. We both need money. No matter how long you live on planet Earth, you will always need money to pay for things, to get access to resources, to make connections, to network, to build, to expand, to scale, to help, to give. You need money. Every kingdom on planet Earth operates successfully only if they have this, money. There is no kingdom on planet Earth that has successfully operated for a prolonged period of time 
without including money into the system. Without money, you're dead. If your business is not making money, you're dead. If you are not working and getting paid, you're a slave. And you don't have access to resources, so you are restricted, bound, you have chains that prevent you from getting things because you're not making money, right? And that is the biggest dilemma with majority of American citizens. I already gave you the numbers earlier, right? Over what? 50, 60, 70% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. What does that really mean? That means they're making money, but they don't have enough money to live a life worth living. They don't have enough money to give. They don't have enough money to help and support and make an impact on planet Earth. They only have enough money, just enough to get by. And that is not good for the citizen. It's also not good for the kingdom because the only way the kingdom gets represented properly is through its citizens, not the ruler, right? The ruler is the ruler, has control, power. The ruler does not necessarily need citizens, but in order for the ruler to rule more, it needs citizens, good citizens, so that it can build a reputation. Every single king and queen that has ever existed on planet Earth, the number one thing that they care about most, okay, is glory. Or I should say one of the number one things, one of the main things that a king or a queen cares about most is glory. Glory is attached to your name, to your reputation. Right? Just like when you and I go apply for a job, right? So when you and I go apply for a job, you provide them with a resume that has your accolades and accomplishments, which is really your reputation on the employer to make a decision whether or not they're going to hire you to, for them to pay you to do work. Okay? So your reputation is everything, everything in this world, in this life. Your name is who you are. So the other day, yesterday, I did, uh, uh, no, Thursday, I did a live stream where I said um, that I, uh, I had recently got this, um, this trademark, right? And so I literally trademarked my face, right? Can you see that? Right? I got a trademark for which is a logo. I have another trademark which is on the Finance Geek. That's a name. That's one of the names that I go by. My main name is Denzel Napoleon Rodriguez, which is what you see on my YouTube channel. But I go by other names as well. My girlfriend has gives me names, my mom has gives me different names. You know, family, friends, some friends call me Dens, Yo D, right? Th these are different names, all connecting to my reputation. The finance geek, right, is a name in my business in which I conduct myself accordingly. And based on that name or brand, we should say, more, you know, trying to be relevant in today's terms, okay, this right here, Denzel the finance geek, these are names trademark that has a reputation so before you see me you see the brand and then you make a correlation what does what do you see when you see my brand that was a question that I asked my audience uh, Thursday evening I said what do you see when you first see my brand my logo what comes to mind some of the things were authority, kingdom, motivation, discipline, ethics, morals, values. I'm like, well, these are great words to attach to my name. And the more awesome, great, powerful words that get attached to my name, the more 
people will know me. So this, even this God that is almighty, all-powerful, all-knowing, not needs us, but wants us, right? Wants us to represent him because he's after glory. He's after reputation, okay? So these kingdom-giving principles that we're delivering, I'm setting the landscape. I'm showing you how I operate. Let's dive into the template now so that I can present to you how it is that I not only live a life worth living, but I'm able to give beyond measure in abundance. I follow certain principles that when I give, I receive tenfold. I get a whole lot of this in a short period of time. And then I'm able to conduct myself effectively here on planet Earth. I'm able to obtain skills and gifts and talents that people get attracted to. So money is attractive, right? Money goes after where the attraction is at, okay? Money is attracted to attention, okay? So money is attracted to attention. The more attention you have, the more attractive people will be, the more money you will make. If you have people's attention, you've given them value. What is money? Value, right? So if money is value and you give people attention, they will be attracted to you and they will give you their money. They will give you their value that you and I or the government or the king has agreed that that is valuable and that is your cycle. Well, in order to really operate in this cycle effectively, you need a template. You need a template to build out. And then you personalize the template to yourself, to your own specific needs, so that you can conduct yourself effectively in that dominion, in that country. Okay? So let's start. Our is the first word of our petition or prayer. Our literally means unselfish community spirit. Unselfish community spirit. Our is referring to we, to they, to us, right? It's referring to a group of citizens, okay? So if you're living in this kingdom like I am, okay, you have this specific petition, <clears throat> not a religious prayer. It's a petition. Unselfish community spirit. Our father literally means source, sustainer, supplier. Abba, okay? It is the starting point. It's the beginning. In the beginning. It's the beginning. So if I go to the beginning, then I'm at the source. If I go to a resource, then I'm not at the source. So if I'm living a life where I get my information from resources and I'm not getting the results. See, that's the main thing. If you're not getting the results that you want in life, you could have incorrect or ineffective resources. And I would challenge you to stop going after resources and start going after the source. What is the source of your resourceful information? That's the key. So this is part of the petitioning. I am recognizing, I say, hey, our community, our spirit, our group of people, our kingdom citizens here on this YouTube channel today, we've got, what, 37 people in the house? I say, hey, our father, I'm recognizing this whole entire community spirit. I'm recognizing that we have a father, we have a source, our father, source, who art in heaven or who is in heaven, okay, 
Where is heaven? Heaven is the kingdom, the unforeseen, invisible location. So now I'm also recognizing the location of where the ruler is ruling. Okay? I'm saying, Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. These are two important words. So this is a concept. Our is a concept. Father is a concept. Who art in heaven, that's a concept. Hallowed be thy name, that's a concept. Look how many concepts are in one petition. So this can be quite complicated. We're in a courtroom right now. We're the citizens. We're petitioning. We have a lawyer. We have a witness. And we have a judge that we're presenting to. Our, that's the first concept. Father, that's the second concept. Who art in heaven, that's the third concept. Hallowed be thy name, that's the fourth concept. So hallowed literally is referring to holy or perfect. So I'm simply saying perfect is your name. Holy is your name. Your reputation, your being is so awesome that as I'm delivering my template, I'm reminding that king, I'm giving him what? Glory. That's one of the main things they go after. Kings and queens, that's the main thing they go after is glory. So I'm giving it up front. Our Father who art in heaven, holy is your name, name, reputation, being. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom, so kingdom, the country, is the kingdom of heaven. It's this unforeseen, invisible location. I can't see it. I'm asking the ruler that is holy, that has a great reputation to bring his kingdom, right? Bring your country, please, right? I'm saying thy kingdom come. This is another concept. Bring your country. Thy will, will literally means purpose. I'm asking for your will to be done, purpose, on earth. So that's another concept. That's another concept. We have one, two, three, four, five, six different concepts in one petition, right? I am pleading to the greatest court that there ever was, that there ever will be. So I better be prepared as a citizen or else when I pray or petition and I don't get what I came for, it could be because there could be a high probability that I got the template incorrect, that I got the concept incorrect, or I just deli my delivery was ineffective, right? So combination of delivery, concept, not understanding, misinterpreting, I don't get what I need. So thy kingdom come, thy will be done, purpose, will, purpose, on earth. Because I am a human being living on this big blue planet called Earth. We, we called it Earth. On Earth. This is where I dwell. And I need this. Money. Money, like most people say, makes the world go round. Right? So I'm asking for His purpose to be done on Earth as it is in heaven. Why do I say heaven? Well, according to the legal constitution and documents that this particular kingdom provided to its citizens, it says that he's got this glorious kingdom with many different resources and a whole lot of this, a whole lot of money, more than you could ever need, a whole lot of healing, a whole lot of passion, a whole lot of love, a whole lot of everything. Power, authority, confidence, speaking skills, a whole lot of everything. So I'm like, well, shoot, that's a whole lot of a whole lot of things. Let me get some of that here on earth because I don't have a whole lot of it because I need it so I can operate. So I'm saying, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, in your Invisible kingdom, can you please bring the source that you have here on earth? 
and please give me this day. Give me this day. A day is 24 hours. Can we agree on that? Yes. Okay. So a day is 24 hours. Give us this day, not a month, not a week, not a year, not 10 years, not a decade, not a century. Give me this day, which literally means responsibility. So I'm, now, I'm, now I'm shifting and saying, hey, you're great. You're awesome. You're amazing. I like what you're about. I like your, 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 your protocols, your procedures. I want to be a citizen here, but I also want to be responsible as a citizen because the more responsibility I have, the more attention that I'm going to attract, the more value I'm going to give, the more money I will obtain. So responsibility. So give me this day, Father, and my daily bread. Bread means supplies, resources. So I'm asking the source for a resource. I'm asking the source for a resource. And then I'm saying, hey, look, there's a lot going on in this world. It's tough. It's hard. You know, it, it's, it's brutal sometimes. There's a lot of chaos. There's a lot of crisis. So please forgive my trespasses. Or in this specific prayer, it says, and forgive us. So I'm asking the whole unselfish community spirit, I'm actually petitioning on behalf of all my citizens, not just myself. This is giving. It's a principle. It's a concept. So I'm asking on behalf of all our citizens here, forgive us for our trespasses, all the cursing, all the, the cheating, the deception, the manipulation, the unfair practices, the unethical behaviors, the stealing, the killing, the murdering, the, you know, the adulterous things. I mean, forgive us for all the bad that we do, please, okay? So forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So <clears throat> not only am I presenting this case to this almighty, all-powerful God, Jesus, Holy Spirit being that is perfect in all ways, I'm not only asking for forgiveness on my end, I'm also asking forgiveness on behalf of all my citizens that are in alignment with me. And then I'm also asking for forgiveness on those that did the harm to me. Let me give you a prime example. Let me give you a prime example. So I woke up this morning and I had a not so nice comment on my YouTube channel and I would like to read it to you to give you an example, a relevant 21st century example of when someone trespasses against us and how to respond effectively because the way they responded and the way I respond to that action that they took can be a game changer. I could potentially convert that person, right? Win them and influence them to actually change their way of thinking, to rediscover a new way of being so that they can impact others. Rather than me try to tell them that they're wrong, ineffective, they're bad, they're mean, and all this stuff, I can educate them and say, hey, what you said may not have been the most effective thing. I respect what you said. I respect your opinion. I respect you, your body, you as mankind. I respect you and love you and cherish you. But I think if we have a dialogue or a discussion in this manner, I think we can get to a better place. What do you say? Shake hands? Wow. Now that is a great way to handle. So let me read you this comment in regards to forgiving people for trespassing against you, right? Against us. So on one of my older videos back in the day, remove the camera, remove the high-end HD cameras, okay? 
remove these beautiful $500 light bulbs, okay? Remove my camera switching skills, right? Remove all of that. <clears throat> Let's go back to my YouTube channel. If you go back in the day, I had a small little whiteboard. I was in my room. I was using the sunlight as my light because I could not afford these expensive light bulbs, okay? I was using an iPhone to record. I was using a cheap microphone to do outreach and ministry. So here's the comment. This is typical financial junk advice. A sucker born every minute. Watch Dave Ramsey's rant against HELOCs. Dave is a millionaire and doesn't broadcast from a dingy room. Ooh, that hurt. I said, man, all right. He says, people like you deserve to be held accountable for taking advantage of low IQ people. Uh-oh, that's an attack on you, ladies and gentlemen. We've got 35 people in the house. That is a direct offensive comment to you, not to me. So he says, people like you. Ooh, that hurts. People like you. What do you mean? My skin color? Is that what you mean? My skin color? My hair? What do you mean, people like me? What, 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 is, what is people like me? What does that mean? People like you. Is it, is it my height? Is it my weight? Is it my skin color? The way I talk? What is it? Right? People like you oof, deserve to be held accountable for taking advantage of low IQ people. IQ people. Direct offensive accountability. Uh, uh, Offensive comment to you, the people that are watching and the people that catch the replay. He says, not cool. Don't disgrace God's name with your debt-based trash, homie. Finish it off with homie. So, here is maybe a way that we can respond to when people trespass against us, right? And part of the prayer is as we forgive those who trespassed against us, it also says, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the very evil thing that we all do to each other on a daily basis. We're all victims. We're all, say, victimizers. What's the word? We're all oppressors at some point. We've all done evil things to good people or bad people or kind of good people or in between or I don't knows, okay? We've all done something we're not proud of to people. So what happens? Is it, is that what makes the world go round? I don't know. Some people's perspective, they might agree with this. You know, it's, it's all the hate, right? So, here was something that I said in response to try to win this person over, to convert, to, to share with them, show them a different way of thinking. Because just maybe, just maybe, they could be my next best client, my next best advocate, Maybe they can go on to live a life impacting thousands, if not tens of thousands, if not millions, if not billions of people here on planet Earth. So I said this, I appreciate your hard criticism, opinion, and offensive comment. Could have said racist, who knows? I'm not sure where Dave Ramsey started in his life, but I'm sure it was from humble beginnings. I respect Dave Ramsey and his millionaire status. At the age of 25 years old, I'll be breaking my first million in revenue this year, but that doesn't matter. What matters is where my heart is because where your treasure is, so will your heart be, okay? Where your treasure is, so will your heart be. So what matters is where my heart is at. I've learned all the basics of finances from Dave Ramsey, and I simply choose 
to learn more than just the basics. I simply choose to learn more than just my money by just giving my money to Wall Street and hoping and praying for a rate of return. I said, have a nice day. Your hate gives me more energy. So thank you and God bless. My other comment was, you know, my average client typically does make above the average income. So I'm wondering how low their IQ can really be. But again, that doesn't matter what my client's income makes. It does not matter what my clients make. It's all about what they keep and their mindset, how they conduct themselves. Okay. So I said, but again, that doesn't matter. I appreciate your comments. They give me energy, helps me improve my systems, helps me improve my education, helps me improve my systems, right? The hate, the hate helps me improve my systems, my education around money in the 21st century today. I challenge you to look at any one of your US fiat currency dollars and read where it says, this note is legal tender for all public and private debts. Do you know what that really means, ladies and gentlemen? That means that all money in the USA, all money in the US economy is debt. So that means that debt can either take our money or make us money. My question to you is, which would you rather have? Debt that takes your money or debt that pays you money? Please comment below. Which would you rather have? Debt that takes your money or debt that pays you money? Which would you rather have? Okay. So that could be some way, right? And I can get better, right? I can always get better. But that can be some way that we can process when people trespass against us as we forgive those who trespass, right? And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from that very evil. So this is the template, ladies and gentlemen. But now you can't just say the template. What does that even mean? I, I can't just say, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy the kingdom, plow and the glory forever and ever. Amen. What does that even mean, ladies and gentlemen? Imagine if I walked into the Supreme Court Justice of the United States of America and I said that prayer. They're going to look at me with three heads. I might not even get past the first three lines before they kick me out of the freaking courtroom. Any courtroom for that matter in any country, if I go into any courtroom in any country and I say this prayer, I might not even get past the third line. Why? The judge, the jury, the witness, the lawyer, I'd be like, what are you doing? What are you saying? What do you need? What do you need? So, in this particular kingdom, the king, the ruler, gave us this template to use, but we have to personalize it. I can't just say it. Because if I just say it, and then I go about my day wondering why I still don't have money, why I still don't have the talent, the skill, the resources, the opportunity, the collaboration. It's because you didn't personalize the template. So as you're delivering your case to the kingdom, to the ruler, to your US government, and you're petitioning as a citizen, you need to be very specific. You need to be very, very specific. So let me give you an example. <clears throat> As I say this prayer, I also put in personalized things that I want to do. For example, I told the ruler, the king, I said, hey, um, Father, holy is your name. I know you're in heaven. Uh, I'm asking you to bring your country 
and your will here on earth so that I can operate. Please give me this responsibility. The responsibility that I want to present to you, that I want to uh, take on for myself, is I would like to give $100,000 in 2021 to moms, the church, okay? I would like to give $100,000 this year, 2021, to moms that are building businesses and the church that I represent here on earth in your name so that the church and my ideal client can come together and get the results that they need to get. So with that being said, I believe the best way that I can give $100,000 in 2021 to moms that are building businesses and my church is by starting, growing, and scaling my business in the 21st century. So, some thoughts that come to mind, Lord, Father, Abba, Jehovah, is I have a YouTube channel. We're at 35, almost 36,000 subscribers. I have over 5,500 um, emails in my uh, uh, email marketing system. I have over 1,136 clients at this point in my Velocity Banking Manifesto course. I have over about 70 uh, givers per month, roughly, that give to my kingdom. And they bless me with, the, with, with their money, with their resources. I have these skills, speaking, uh, personal finance, help people get out of debt, increase cash flow, build their credit score, start businesses, build business credit, start a high cash value life insurance policy, uh, <clears throat> discover ways to 10x their income, create content, become an influence. So some of the things that I was thinking about scaling my attention to attract people to give me their value is I want to build on Instagram. So I want to revamp my Instagram account. I want to build my following on there. I want to repurpose the 500 plus videos that I have on my YouTube channel and start posting them automatically on Instagram. <clears throat> so what I'm asking for is for you to present someone in my life that can conduct themselves effectively to take over my Instagram account and uh, uh, manage it, post it, post videos, reels, Instagram reels, IGTV, Instagram posts, hashtags, descriptions, titles, respond to comments, like comments. Uh, I, need to, I need to offset that. I need to delegate that time so I can keep doing what I do best over here. So I need the resources. I need the money to do that. So I can pay that person adequately, effectively, so that they can perform their very best, okay? So in addition to building an Instagram account, revamping and growing the followers, the goal is to send them back to YouTube so that they can enroll in my course, pay me the money. I give them value on Instagram to YouTube to the course. They change their life. They share my product with their family, friends, coworkers, strangers, people they don't know. Okay, cool. I also need someone to help me revamp my LinkedIn profile. I wanna build up my followers on LinkedIn because I understand that there's a lot of higher income paid professionals that spend time on LinkedIn looking for talent, looking for recruitment. So maybe there's a potential that I can collaborate with higher income earners, possibly gain their business and access to their network. Your network is your net worth, uh-oh. So. I need you to put somebody in my life that can conduct themselves adequately, that I can pay them adequately. They can perform their very best to repurpose the content that I have on YouTube and post it on LinkedIn. So I need someone for Instagram, I need someone for LinkedIn. In addition to that, Lord, I also need someone that can um, take the necessary time to walk me through my brand, right? My brand is my name. My name is everything on planet Earth. So with that being said, please, please put somebody in my life, uh, preferably a kingdom citizen, that can dive into what I'm trying to do here on Earth for you in your name, Lord. 
because you're the perfect one, not me. I'm betting on you that your reputation will exemplify and, you know, quantify the potential here on earth to deliver value. So that's my bet. Put someone in my life that I can build my brand. Expand the messaging so that the minute my ideal client sees my content, they say, yes, I'm in, value driven. They click sign, check out, we're good to go. Done. The other thing I need to do, Lord, is I need to obtain real estate and land. So please put people in my life that can benefit me in the real estate space, that can teach me, coach me, and show me the pitfalls, the good, the bad, the ugly, so I can make an executive decision to invest a large amount of dollars into real estate to produce cash flow, to obtain good debt that pays me money. Amen. You personalize it. Guess what happens? Everything that I just said, the Lord put someone in my life that does Instagram, that can help manage my Instagram account, so I lock that in. I'm in conversation with somebody that does LinkedIn, I lock that in. I have somebody in my realm that is helping with my brand, I lock that in. I have a loyal subscriber that's been following me for a period of time that is a real estate investor in my local area that offered to help conduct the real estate transaction on the, as a real estate agent and coach me and teach me on how to read the numbers to identify a good real estate deal. I have that. God also put into my situation a awesome guy that is a lender, right? And can get me access to get pre-approved to, to then go start putting offers on properties. And they're giving me a what's called a white glove service for that. No extra charge. No charge for the uh, support from the real estate investor in my local area. No charge to the lender. And then I got another commercial real estate investor that's on the buyer side real estate that, hey, if a deal comes up, I'll share it with you, right? So I got all these people coming together to fulfill my needs. Why did that happen? Number one, I gave first. I gave first. That's the key. Give first. I said, here is the strategy. It's kingdom giving principles according to this particular king always tells me to give first because when I give from the heart, I receive tenfold, okay? And now that is the end of my lesson, okay? I am done.